Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Journey Marie. And today we're gonna to be reacting to Braveheart. I don't know anything about this movie other than it's like a fight movie or like a war movie. The only thing I can think of when I think of this is like Gladiator, which I reacted to on my channel. Another movie I think of is like maybe like 300 or like Troy, just those types of movies. So I feel like it's gonna be somewhere in the realm of that. And you know, I enjoy these types of movies. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to get into it. So just make sure you subscribe to my channel if you watch my videos and you're not subscribed yet. I really, really appreciate it. And let's get straight into today's reaction. I hear bagpipes, so I'm thinking we might be in Scotland. Claimed the throne of Scotland for himself. Scotland's nobles fought him. This is giving Game of Thrones fighting over the crown. And William. I told you to stay. Well, I've finished my work. Where are we going? I love his accent. So cute. Can I come? No, go home, boy. I want to go. Go home, William, or you'll feel the back of my hand. Go home, William. Go home, William. It's it's not safe. Holy Jesus. Was it some sort of setup? Now you done traumatized yourself. Damn, they hung little boys too. PTSD. Every nobleman who had a will to fight was at that meeting. We cannot beat an army. Oh, with the 50 farmers, we can reach. And we do not have to beat them. Just fight them. Now, who's with me? You don't have to beat them, just fight them? You don't want to die. Don't fight if you don't have to. Use your brain. They're not coming back. With your father and brother gone, they'll kill us and burn the farm. It's up to us, Hamish. What are y'all gonna do? Is that how they play? They're not carrying their bodies, are they? William. Come here, lad. He already knows. He shouldn't have to see them like this, I don't think. That poor boy is traumatized for a lifetime. Et lux perpetua luceat eis requiescant in. Oh, 
Oh, that little girl keep looking at him. Is nobody gonna take him in? She's so cute and sweet. Give him a hug or something. Kids are so pure, man. William, I'm your uncle, Argyle. You have the look of your mother. I'm glad he has some family. We'll stay here tonight. Tomorrow, you'll come home with me. I don't want to leave. You didn't want your father to die either, did you? Well, damn. I guess he got a point. Your heart is free. Have the courage to follow it. That was actually kind of sweet. I thought it was going to be like a nightmare type. It seems like his dad and his uncle have some similar philosophies. Whew. Sucks to have to say goodbye to your home. As bride for his son, Longshanks had chosen the daughter of his rival, the King of France. Something weird going on here. So the king will have to sleep with his son's wife? I sent for him and he sends you. Shall I leave, my lord? If he wants his queen to rule when I am gone, then by all means stay and learn how. Please. I was not expecting to say that. When any common girl inhabiting their lands is married, our nobles shall have sexual rights to her on the night of her wedding. What is we he? Can't get them out. We'll breed them out. That is a crazy concept. I thought he was going to be like. Let's kill them all, like a genocide. William visiting home. Why do I feel like that's the same girl who gave him the flower? That would be so cute. <laughs> Bitch, just hold the eye contact. <laughs> you dropped your rock. Test of manhood. You went down. What do you want? Call it the test of soldierly then. The English won't let us train with weapons, so we train with stones. Well, a test of a soldier is not in his arm. That's here. Period. It's here. <laughs> Why is your big, ugly ass fighting me right now? Famous. Mm-hmm. Is that his friend? His childhood friend? As it, as it matters in battle. 
Could you crush a man with that throw? I could crush you like a worm. Like a worm. Come on, Amy. Do your best. So he just has bad aim. Right, he just stood there and took it. William, will you dance with me? Of course I will. Why are you cock blocking? I'm trying to talk to her. I hope they're not coming to ruin the fun. I come to claim the right of Prima Nocta. As lord of these lands, I will bless this marriage by taking the bride into my bed on the first night of her youth. That is so disgusting. It is my noble right. So nobody just don't need to get married no more because... She's going to go willingly. She don't want her man to get hurt. She's a strong woman, but this is so messed up. laughing at with your ugly teeth. I was wondering if I might have a word with your daughter. What do you want to have a word with her about? Well, Maroon, would you like to come and ride with me on this fine evening? Oh, he is forward. You're out of your mind. Oh, it's good Scottish weather, madam. The rain is falling straight down. Oh, slightly to the side like. She can't go with you. See you later. Oh, the weather's just fine. It's hardly raining. Did you not hear what I said? <laughs> Can y'all stop trying to ruin my fun? Dang. Are you in the habit of riding off in the rain with strangers? <laughs> it's the best way to make you leave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can ever work up the courage to ask you again, I'll send you a written warning first. Oh, it wouldn't do you much good. I can't read. Can you not? No. Oh, she really can't read. I thought she was trying to be funny. Well, that's something we shall have to remedy, isn't it? Are you going to teach me to read? Then? Well, if you like. Hey. And what language? <sighs> yeah, sure enough now. I'm about to say that's a flex. She trying to act like she's not impressed. She impressed. I'm imp I'm impressed. What was it like? Rien qui approche. He is too damn smooth. No kiss yet. We'll get there. I'm guessing that's some kind of romantic gesture. The secret kind. Your meetings are a waste of time, Campbell. Your father was a fighter and a patriot. I know who my father was. 
They're trying to get him to fight? Aye. If you can prove it, you may court my daughter. Until you prove it, the answer is no. No. No, Wallace. No. Didn't I just prove it? No. 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 <laughs> no. He's just trying to give him a hard time. <gasps> Careful. This is giving Romeo and Juliet. So you've got children? Well, not yet, but I was hoping that you could help me with that. <laughs> I love you. Always have. Well, damn. They're super cute, but I really hope they're not trying to get married here. He's like, who was she waving at? They're trying to get married secretly. Look at her taking care of her man, her husband. Mind your business. What are you looking at? Where are you going, Lassie? Well, that looks heavy. Let me help you with it. <laughs> back up for you get punched out. Give my daughter back home. Y'all messing with the wrong one. Hello, Lassie. Exactly what you deserve. Kill him. Are you alright? Right. Are you alright? Don't let the other soldiers see you. Are you alright? The grove. Right. Thank you. Come on. Dumbass. Holy shit. Hold on. What are they gonna do to her? He don't even know. All of you know full well the great pains I've always taken. Never to be too strict, too rigid with the application of our laws. She was being attacked. Well, you leave me with little choice. Oh, 
Oh, she's looking for him. An assault on the king's soldiers is the same as an assault on the king himself. Oh, give me a break. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. For no reason. And that old ass man gonna close his eyes like he not the reason she just died. Damn, nunchucks. <laughs> Poor horse. Holy shit! <laughs> Damn! It's a resistance! <laughs> ah. He tried to run away. Damn! Get his ass. Get his ass. Damn. To let William kill him. Oh, damn. Damn. Did him just how he did her. Poor William just wanted to settle down, have a family. Fili Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Her poor parents too. He probably feels so bad too, like it's his fault. What you waiting for, boy? <laughs> Here, you can do it. I'll hold him down. Oh, they gotta burn his hole where he got stabbed. Let's stay in the wind, boy. I know it seems like a waste of good whiskey. You indulge me. <laughs> Hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Oh, God. Don't <laughs> <laughs> wake up in the morning, boy. That's why nobody wanted to do it to him. So I want news. <laughs> oh, shit. I was not expecting that. I have dispatched a hundred soldiers to Lanark. They will be returning now. What are they dressed like this? Actually, it was more like 50. Oh, wow. Do you remember me? I never did any harm. It was my right. You're right. This is my right. My husband! <laughs> <laughs> He deserved that. Scottish rebels have routed 
one of my garrisons. Routed. Leave us. Like, you need to take this more serious. You over here playing. Get away from me! Convene my military council. Oh, he is such a little boy. Spoiled little boy. En guerroyant l'arme au poing, il cacha le cadavre de sa bien-aimée dans un endroit secret. Ça, c'est de l'amour, non? You're treating it like it's some romantic book. We'll make spears. Hundreds of them. Long spears, twice as long as a man. Not long. Some men are longer than others. Your mother didn't tell oh you stories gosh. about me again, eh? <laughs> Stupid. William Wallace, we've come to fight and to die for you. Stand up, man. I'm not the Pope. He's humble. My sword is yours. I brought you this. We checked them for arms. Will I get a chance to kill Englishmen? Is your father a ghost? Or do you converse with the Almighty? In order to find his equal, an Irishman is forced to talk to God. Yes, Father. The Almighty says, don't change the subject. Oh, he's crazy. Seen Irish. <laughs> Smart enough to get a dagger past your guards. And the answer to your question is yes. You fight for me, you get to kill the English. Excellent. Someone that crazy you want on your side. I'm the most wanted man on my island. Except I'm not on my island, of course. More's the pity. Your island? You mean Ireland? Yeah, it's mine. You're a madman. That he is. Is this guy also going after the deer? Assassins? So just that guy was an assassin, not the madman? We can still negotiate. What are they talking about? I can't hear, but it doesn't look good. The nobles will negotiate. They do a deal. Let me go home. That's what you hope. It's crazy that they're all just on standby, waiting for a decision to be made. So many. Yeah. I'm not dying for these bastards! Let's go home! Oh, wow. Give homage to Scotland. And if this is your army, why does it go? We didn't come here to fight for them. Fight for yourselves and your land. Sons of Scotland, I am William Wallace. William Wallace is seven feet tall. Yes, I've heard. <laughs> No heart.
and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! He gave me hyped up. He has like the perfect voice for it too. And he will give you each estates in Yorkshire, including hereditary title, from which you will pay from which you will pay him an annual duty. I have an offer for you. Tell the king to go screw himself. How about that? Here are Scotland's terms. Lower your flags and march straight back to England, stopping at every home you pass by to beg forgiveness for a hundred years of theft, rape, and murder. Absolutely. And your men shall live. Do it not. And every one of you will die today. <laughs> and I feel like they should be scared. Because these guys have passion. Two centuries, no army has won with us. I'm not finished. Before we let you leave, your commander must cross that field, present himself before this army, put his head between his legs, and kiss his own arse. <laughs> Basically, go F yourself. I'd say that was rather less cordial than he was used to. You'd be ready and do exactly as I say. On my signal. Ride round behind our position and flank them. We must not divide our forces. Do it. And let the English see you do it. He is a born leader. Ever since he was a little boy, he wanted to fight. Ego, vos absolvo, ab omnibus, peccatis vestris, in nomine patris. i never seen an army get blessed before going to war. That's the first time I've seen that. <laughs> Flashing them, son. Disrespectful. Ooh. Put your, your your shields up. Damn, in a neck. The Lord tells me he can get me out of this mess, but he's pretty sure you're fucked. Well, thanks. <laughs> he is truly crazy. Ah! I was going to say they should moon them. They are just playing with them. shaking his shit. Come on, let's whoop some ass. His dad do not be playing. He old, but he could fight. Nah, don't be trying to run. Oh 
my God. Oh no. Go get his ass off of that horse. Gotcha, dumbass. All right. We won. I know the English king is shitting his pants. Gentlemen, now is the time to declare a king. And you're prepared to recognize our legitimate succession. Idea. You're the ones who won't support the rightful Those were like Here we all go with this same old shit. We have beaten the English. But they'll come back. Because you won't stand together. Right, y'all want to fight each other the whole time. They follow courage. Now, our people know you. Noble and common, they respect you. And if you would just lead them to freedom... Stop being scary. Do what you know is right. He's trying to play by the rules, but William's not trying to do that. Sir, we can get you out if you leave now. I'm not about to tell my uncle I've lost him the greatest city in Northern England. You gonna have to tell him that anyway. Be ready to get slapped again. Stand up to him and more. <sighs> that boy sweating bullets. I heard the word in France where I was fighting to expand your future kingdom. The word, my son, is that our entire northern army is annihilated. But you're the king. Why are you trying to blame your son? Um, Wallace has sacked York. Huh? Wallace has sacked York. Is that a head? Ew. If he can sack York. England. We would stop him. Oh, shut up. It's over. Person who speaks to me as though I needed his advice. And tell me, what advice would you offer on the uh, present uh, situation? Oh, 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 oh. Damn, he was just trying to help. You better move from the window, boy, for you next. <laughs> Nobody wins when the family feuds. Was he in love with that dude? I mean, that's probably his best friend or something. Who will go to him? Not I. If I fell under the sword of that murderer, gentle son, the mere sight of him would only encourage an enemy to take over the whole country. <laughs> so you're saying his son looked like a little sissy. Who the hell is that? A witch? He's dreaming. I'm dreaming. Yes, you are. Oh, and he did dream about his dad, too. I don't want to wake. Stay here with you. And I with you.
Wow, he sent his son's wife. I've been given nothing. God makes men what they are. Did God make you the sucker of peaceful cities? The executioner of the king's nephew, my husband's own cousin. Girl, please. For every invasion of my country. And that royal cousin hanged innocent Scots, even women and children from the city walls. But you don't want to talk about that. Or maybe she didn't know that. Sanguinarius homo indomitus est. Et semper dicens mendatium. Nego nunquam pronunciare mendatium. Yeah, speak your language, nigga. Hamilton, leave us. My lady? Leave us. No. Bye. In return, he grants you title, estates, and this chest of gold, which I am to pay to you personally. A lordship and titles. Gold. That I should become Judas. He's not a sellout. And many Scottish nobles who would not be slaves were lured by him under a flag of truce to a barn where he had them hanged. But I remember Longshank's notion of peace. He can't be trusted. I have never spoken of it. I don't know why I tell you now, except I see her strength in you. That's the sweetest thing he could have said. One day, you'll be a queen. Just open your eyes. See the truth. Don't let them lie to you. My scouts tell me that he has not advanced. He waits for you at York. He says he will attack no more towns or cities if you are man enough to come and face him. Did he? Oh, wow. To hear. Welsh bowmen, troops from France, Irish conscripts. Even if you dispatch them today, they take weeks to assemble. I dispatch them. Before I set your wife. He's a conniving, lying. You spoke with this uh, Wallace in private. Tell me, what kind of man is he? The opposite of you. Not a king like you, my lord. She just saying what she has to. <laughs> Forgive me, sire. I thought that generosity might demonstrate your greatness. My greatness will be better demonstrated when Wallace returns to Scotland and finds his country in ashes. That's why you could barely breathe. Personal escort of the princess. I must have made an impression. All right. I didn't think you were in the tent that long. Stupid. A message to my maîtresse. Merci. Mm -hmm. You think she cute? The queen, she warned him, didn't she? Barter a better deal with Longshanks before you tuck tail and run. Sir William. We cannot defeat this army. We can't. Sir William. And we will. We want it sterling. And still, you quibble. They ain't got no heart. They ain't got no belief, no faith. If you'll not stand up with us now, then I say you're a coward. <laughs> He's just speaking the truth. If we join, we can win. If we win, well, then we'll have what none of us have ever had before. A country of our own. You're the rightful leader. And there is strength in you, I see it. I like how he encourages people. Helps them see their own inner strength. Now let's do this! I cannot be king. You and you alone can rule Scotland. What I tell you, you must do. Not for me, not for yourself. For your country. You better not betray William, that's all I know. Monet and Lachlan have come. So all the Bruce. I hope the Bruce don't let him down. The archers are ready, sire. Not the archers. My scouts tell me their archers are miles away and no threat to us. Arrows cost money. 
use up the Irish. The dead cost nothing. Wow, he's terrible. Yeah, better stop testing William Gangster. Woo, him and this his, this damn thing. Hello, why are y'all not coming? Oh, y'all are lame. Cowards. Scotland. I gave Mornay double his lands in Scotland, but matching estates in England. Lachlan turned uh, for much less. There are such sellouts. A big pardon, sire. Won't we hit our own troops? Yes. But we'll hit theirs as well. We have reserves. They're willing to sacrifice their own men. Come on, put your shields up, y'all. Imagine you go to fight a war and your own people end up killing you. Bring me Wallace. Alive if possible. Dead. Just as good. Come on, Wallace. We gotta do something. Damn, Wallace. Oh, he's going after them. He's not letting them escape just like that. Protect the king. Oh shit. <laughs> Bruce? What a betrayal. Oh, he looks so hurt. Don't give up, William. So I don't get it. Like, so is Bruce now, he just realized that he really messed up? I really thought Bruce was gonna come through for him too. I guess he kinda did in the end, but. <coughs> I'm surprised his dad is still alive. No. You're going to love? I've lived long enough to live free. Proud to see you become the man you are. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm a happy man. This is time. <laughs> Oh, 
But at least he got to hear those words from his dad before he died. What counts now is what you do next. I must have alliance with England to prevail here. You achieved that. You saved your family, increased your land. But at what cost, like? Because if they do not, I throw them off my land and I starve their wives and their children. Those men who bled the ground red at Falkirk, they fought for William Wallace and he fights. They respect him, they love him. I want to believe as he does. I will never be on the wrong side again. And that's all that matters. And the fact that he even felt like bad about what he did to William shows that he's actually a good person. He just made a really bad decision. <laughs> that's crazy. He was dreaming about him and he really came. God. Well, damn, I hope the horse could swim. Wallace rode into his bedchamber and killed him. More of a liability now than ever he was. And there's no telling who'll be next. <clears throat> Hopefully you. Maybe you. Maybe me. I don't think he'll do Bruce. I'm serious, Robert. So am I! Whoa, shit. It's going down. His legend grows. It will be worse than before. It's like he's unkillable. Very well. Take a flock of your finest assassins and set a meeting. <laughs> My lord, Wallace is renowned for his ability to smell an ambush. You can't cheat your way through this one. If what Lord Hamilton tells me is correct, he warned to our future queen and would trust her. So we'll dispatch her with the notion that she comes in peace. My lord, the princess might be taken hostage. She don't give a damn. Would be most distressed by that. <laughs> but in truth, if she were to be killed, we would soon find the king of France a useful ally against the Scots. Wow, so he's gonna use her. Be ready. Well, damn. Why? There will be a new shipment of supplies coming north next month. Foods and weapon, they will... No, so. Why do you help me? You're hot? Why do you help me? Because of the way you are looking at me now. Oh wow. I kind of saw this coming, but she does remind me of his 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 dead wife a little bit, so I'm not too mad at it. He deserves to be happy. <laughs> she is in love. So let the council swear publicly. We cannot. Some scarcely believe you're alive. Others think you'll pay the Mornay's wages. So we bid you to Edinburgh. Meet us two days from now. Pledge us your pardon and we'll unite behind you. 
I don't know if I trust them. You mean us and you? No. I mean this. It's the pledge of Robert the Bruce. Okay, Bruce. It's gonna be hard to trust him again. I don't want to be a martyr. No, all right. I want to live. We've lived that dream. Your dream isn't about freedom. It's about Murren. You're doing this to be a hero because you think she sees you. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. And your father sees you too. Oh, oh. Come on. He's just doing all this because his dad died. That's the third time he done punched him this movie. I'm nervous. Him. He set him up. No! Help him, Bruce. Oh, Bruce is not to be hurt. Wow, that's crazy. Y'all are some cowards. You rotten bastard! Why? Why? Longshanks required Wallace. So did our nobles. So you gonna betray your own son? Die! I want you to die. Soon enough I'll be dead. And you'll be king. I don't want anything. You think he's going to want to be king after you just betrayed him? At last, you know what it means to hate. Now you're ready to be a king. So condescending, like, you're not even listening. William Wallace, you stand in taint of high treason. Against whom? Against your king. Have you anything to say? It's not my damn king. Never in my whole life did I swear allegiance to him. It matters not. He is your king. According to who? Deny and you must be purified by pain. Do you confess? Do you confess? What do you think? Then on the morrow, you shall receive your purification. I will see the prisoner. We've got orders from the king that nobody... The king will be dead in a month and his son is a weakling. Who do you think will rule this kingdom? Now open this door. Damn. My lady. Sir, I come to beg you to confess all and swear allegiance to the king. Girl, you should know better. He ain't gonna do that. We'll die. It will be awful. Every man dies. Now every man really lives. Cole, I love that line. Drink this. It will dull your pain. No, it will not my wits. I must have more. Like his father told him. I have come to beg for the life of William Wallace. You don't think that's going to be suspicious? At worst, he was a worthy enemy. Show mercy, oh, the great king, and win the respect of your own people. If I was her, I'd just off both of them. Is it but William's baby? Oh 
lord. This cough sounds terrible. I'm so afraid. Give me the strength to die well. I hope he doesn't die at all. the booing <laughs> F all y'all it's gonna piss me off if we really have to watch him die right now Are they about to use all of those on him? Oh, his friends in the freaking crowd. No. Declare yourself the king's loyal subject and beg his mercy. And get beheaded. Mm. Rope! Is that baby smiling? Stretch him. Jesus. Somebody do something, please. Oh my gosh. Gonna strip him. It can all end right now. What are they doing? Mercy. Mercy. There we go. Are they doing something to his like private parts? Freedom. Oh, I got goosebumps. No. I'm so glad they didn't show it. After the beheading, William Wallace's body was torn to pieces. Oh my gosh. Let's do it for William Bruce. You have bled with Wallace! Now bleed with me. Oh, shut up, you freaking traitor. Yeah! Damn, that was a good throw. Yeah, you're not smiling now. They fought like warrior poets. They fought like Scotsmen. And won their freedom. So that was Braveheart. Um, William Wallace, I'm so glad that at the end he was at peace, kind of, because he saw his wife right before he died and he smiled. So I'm glad that he got to have that moment. I'm just glad that he he gets to be with her even if, you know, it's not in this life.
I'm glad that his last words were freedom. I feel like that really encapsulates the whole movie. It's just like he was just fighting for freedom. He wasn't willing to just be a sellout and he just felt like none of it was worth it if he didn't if they didn't have their freedom because it's like at the end of the day they can do whatever they want like the freaking thing that the king did where the soldiers get to sleep with the wife before she gets married is just like disgusting so it's just all that stuff you'll have to go through if you don't stand up and fight for your freedom like you won't like what he his speech when he gave to his speech to those soldiers and he was just like yeah you'll live for now but like <laughs> It's not even worth it. Like, you're not really living. And I feel like he was at peace with being a martyr and dying. Because he's like, you know, every man has to die. And if he would have just gave up and, yeah, he would have survived. But he wouldn't be living. He would be, he wouldn't be free. He was at peace with it. He knew that he fought for what was right. And he fought for what he believed in. And he didn't just accept what they were trying to give to him. But yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the story of it. Um, let me know what y'all thought of it in the comments. If you enjoyed my reaction to it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what else you guys would like me to react to in the future. And I'll see you guys in my next video.